African Renaissance Television Services has celebrated Africa Day in a special event hosted at Skylight Hotel, Addis Ababa. The Africa Day celebrations held on May 25, which is the day the Organization of African Unity was first founded 60 years ago, was commemorated throughout the day by member countries of the African Union, which replaced the OAU 20 years ago. The event included pop-up shops to showcase African-made products and crafts as well as a gallery walk of arts made by African artists. High-level diplomats of African countries and others that operate in Addis Ababa, members of international organizations, business leaders and other guests were part of the celebration, with Arts TV's top management welcoming the guests and delivering remarks on Africa Day celebrations and what its media house hopes to accomplish in being the voice of Africa. Mr. Daniel Belaina, CEO of Arts TV, in his welcoming speech to the attending audience, gave a remark about the underrepresentation of Africa and the wrong portrayals in the international media and added the need for the continent's children to get into a position where the continent can determine its own future. With regards to the commitment of his organization to work with other African countries, he had this to say. African Renaissance Television reiterates its firm resolve and we declare we are ever more committed to work with African countries, African leaders, and our genuine national and international partners who whom we invited here and then who I'm seeing here, to realize that dream sooner than later. For this, nothing short of the day Africa celebrates herself will be the right forum to reiterate our vision and resolve. Chairperson of the Board of Directors of Arts TV, Dr. Zaudene Bayena Haile, on the other hand, welcomed the guests to the celebration of Africa Day and expressed the media organization's commitment to create a uniquely qualified African media house that will serve the people of the continent. He went on to add about the impact and change that can come from media. There is what Nelson Mandela, the true son of Africa, once said, the media is the most powerful tool in the hands of the people. The media is a powerful tool for a change. It can be used to challenge the status quo, to hold those in power accountable, and to create a more just and equitable world. Sheikh Mansour bin Musalim, OEC Secretary General, applauded the efforts of Arts TV in representing Africa and conveyed the colossal responsibility that it comes with. In media, to ensure that our narratives, our views, our perspectives are reflected in the international debate. Because we can no longer sustain the narratives in the media where we are guilty as the premise. And the work that you do at Arts TV and that I hope that you will continue to do is one that must take into account this colossal, gigantic responsibility. And from the little that I have been able to learn in the short time that we have known each other, I know that you are on that path. And for that, you have my gratitude and my admiration. After the speeches, the invited guests were then treated to a fashion show curated to display the different styles of the continent, with various designers across the continent receiving a platform to showcase their talents. Musical performances were also included in the dinner program, all under the theme of exhibiting African culture.